Welcome everybody. Okay, so tonight I'm going to bring you the word for 2024. This is a rough word. This is this is hard to hear. It was hard to hear even for me. Okay, but I would like to urge you to please listen carefully. Um, I'm actually going to type out this word, okay? If you would like to read through it yourself and study through it yourself, I'm going to type it out and put it on my Telegram channel. There's a link below if you would like to join my Telegram channel where this prophecy will be typed out. And also I'm going to add every relevant scripture because there is so much. There is so much, much scripture that the Lord has placed on my heart regarding this word. So I'm going to add it all there. And if you want to go study and pray through it yourself, please join our Telegram channel. All right, this is part one. The Lord spoke to me and said, you're going to prophesy over three days. So that's what I'm going to do tonight is the first part. Okay. Um, and then please listen till the end because there's some more relevant things that I have to mention to all of you. All right, let's jump into the word. For thus says Adonai Aluhinu, my children come and listen. And I will tell you the things to come, for there is great trouble that is coming upon the earth. See, have I not warned you for many years through the mouth of my prophets? Yes, the Lord has through many, many prophets. For thus is the Holy Spirit, the time of trouble has now arrived. You are now in the midst of it, where thick darkness will consume the earth and cover it like a blanket from one corner of the earth to the other. There will be darkness, but take heart, for I have overcome this world. And I am the light that shines ever brightly in the darkness. For thus is the Holy Spirit, in this new year, you will face many troubles and many more wars. Israel is only the beginning, for wars shall increase. For a time period, the earth will be war-torn, as powers and principalities march through the heart of man, so man will seek blood as never before. Blood will flow from one corner of the earth to the other, as many will lose their lives in this coming year. There will not only be rumors of war, but the entire earth will be consumed in war. This will continue for a time period unknown to man. So what the Lord is telling us is World War Three is on our doorstep. As it has been predestined, says the Spirit of God, so shall it be. See, have I not warned you of these things in my word? Yes, he has. Many prophecies shall come to pass. Blood, fire, and pillars of smoke, and the earth shall mourn, weep, and heave under the heavy yoke it finds itself in. The yoke of war, the yoke of blood, the yoke of revenge and hatred. But make no mistake, there are powers and principalities at work seeking to destroy man. For this is not my will, nor my desire, to see the blood of man flow like a river upon this earth. Yet the enemy seeks to destroy, and there's actually a name for this enemy. His name is Abaddon, and I'll speak about it later on again. He seeks to kill, he seeks to devour man, and see the blood of man flow like a river upon this earth, for the rivers shall turn to blood. Yes, many shall see the blood of man flow like they have never seen before. Many shall see destruction like they have never witnessed before. For you are in the time of trouble as prophesied in the book of Daniel, unlike the earth has ever seen before. The earth shall burn, the earth shall mourn, and the earth shall heave under the heavy presence of evil. For the pit has been opened, and Satan walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour, and he shall devour many, for the blood of man is in his nostrils. For thus says the Holy Spirit, therefore 2024 is the year of blood. 
The blood of man shall flow more than ever before. Take that in. The blood of man shall flow more than ever before. And it shall continue until the set time. And what is prophesied shall surely come to pass. But take heart, my children, because you are of more value to me than anything on this earth. Your life is precious to me, and so is the blood that will flow from many of my children. Many desire for me to say to save their lives, but many shall lose their lives. Haven't we read that before in Scripture? For the sake of the gospel and for the sake of who I am, your blood shall be precious in my sight, and you shall inherit eternal life. And you shall reign with me in the time that is to come. Therefore, lift up your weary heads and find your strength in me. For great trouble is coming on this earth. Wherever you look shall be trouble. Everywhere you look shall be mourning. The earth will mourn and man shall weep for all that it has lost. Is this not the result of hatred? Asks the Spirit of God. For man's hatred will eat him up alive and spill over until nothing can contain it. The enemy shall prevail because man cannot let go of his hatred. Hatred turns to violence. Violence turns to murder. And so the evil continues and man is blinded to it all. You have done this to yourselves, O oh man, because you would not heed my word. You would not let go of your hatred toward one another. Listen to what the Spirit of God says. You're bickering and you're fighting even in the walls of my church, even among the brothers and sisters. You have opened the gates of hell upon the earth because hatred consumes everything in its path. It opens every door to the enemy. Now the nations are enraged with it. You can see it on their faces. You can look upon it in their eyes. Hatred burns like a fiery flame and it shall destroy everything in its path upon this earth, says the Lord. We only have to look at what happened during the Holocaust and see how the hatred is rearing its ugly head again. And what do you see in the faces of those who are standing for, you know, what, what happened back then? What do you see when you look at them? I want you to look into their eyes because exactly what the Lord is saying here is exactly what you'll see in their faces. And that is hatred burning like a fiery flame. The earth shall burn with a fiery flame. And that flame is ignited by the heart of man. The flame of hatred will destroy many and even themselves. 2024 will be an unveiling of the wickedness within the heart of man and the triumph upon this earth of the evil one to destroy man. Therefore take heed, my children. I know says the Spirit of God, that you desire good news. This is not what you want to hear. But I must tell you the truth. I must warn you of things beforehand so that you may be prepared. For many of you will lose your lives. Many of you will surrender in defeat. And many of you will walk away from the faith because you did not heed the warning and because you did not take my words to heart. For thus is the Spirit of God. But a remnant shall arise, for they have been ready. They have been prepared. An army that shall not bow their knees to Baal. An army that will destroy the enemy for his victory is but for a moment. It will not last. It shall be short-lived. For I am coming with recompense in my hand, says the Lord. I am coming with a fiery flame that cannot be quenched. I am coming to set right the wrongs of man. I am coming to restore peace to the earth. But listen, 
Beware of those who promise false peace. For many will sign contracts. Many will step into agreements for a false peace. Hear me, says the Spirit of God. No man, listen, no man can bring peace to this earth but me. And I am not a man, says the Lord, that I should lie, my children. Therefore, do not follow them. Do not wrong, do not run with the throng to do evil. Do not be misled, for deception will run rampant upon this earth and already has. Many are deceived and many are blinded to the truth, the truth of my word and the truth of who I am. Do not look upon these things and think something strange has happened, for was this not written about long ago that even the saints could be deceived? And that's in the book of Daniel. For the enemy is coming, says the Lord, with wrath and revenge burning within him. And every arrow is aimed at you, O man, to destroy you and to kill you. And those who are faithful will not lose their lives in vain. For wrath will be kindled against him and burning coals will devour him on the day of my wrath, says the Spirit of God. Your lives are precious in my sight, therefore take heart. I have overcome this world and those in me shall overcome as I have. Listen, overcoming doesn't mean you don't die. When Jesus overcame this world, he still sacrificed his life. Listen to what the Spirit of God is saying. Death is only a stepping stone. It is not the end. For in me you have eternal life and you will reign with me when I return to this earth. You will be given crowns of glory and my glory will rest upon you. As my reward will be with me to reward those who have been faithful to me. They will reign with me and they will inherit the earth and peace shall flood the earth like a river. My glory shall rest upon the earth and my sons and my daughters shall reign with me. That's what's in store for you who overcome this earth. Satan shall be bound up for a thousand years, as prophesied in Revelation, unable to lead man astray again, unable to influence the heart of man. You shall bask in my presence and in my glory, O man, for the time of trouble shall be over. But take heart, for this is not yet the end. Satan <clears throat> shall be bound up. Sorry, I need to skip forward. Things are moving speedily now, says the Spirit of God, rapidly. Prophecy shall be fulfilled. Therefore, those who know the prophetic word, referring to the prophetic word of the Bible, you will see one thing swiftly moving upon another. Yes, I am coming. Many are asking, says the Spirit of God. Many are wondering, is this the time of your return? Has it not been the time of my return, says the Lord, for the last 2,000 years? For one day is as a thousand years to me. Therefore, take heart, my children, soon I will return. I will place my feet upon the Mount of Olives, and judgment shall be in my hand for the wicked, and comfort shall be within my heart for the righteous. Many shall rejoice at my return. And many shall weep and gnash their teeth. For out of my mouth shall come a double-edged sword. For I'm coming with recompense within my hand. Take heart, my children. As you saw trouble in Egypt because of the heavy hand of Pharaoh that was on my people, causing their blood to flow and their sufferings to increase, yet I delivered them from him. In the same way, I will come and deliver my people with signs and wonders. The heavens shall tremble, the earth shall heave at my presence, for you will see a time of great deliverance as I give glory to my holy name. As the darkness increases, so shall the light in the year 2024. 
you will see my signs and my wonders in the earth as well as the heavens for the heavens will be shaken therefore look up my children for i'm about to display great signs in the heavens for the sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon shall not give its light for what i have spoken shall surely come to pass and many more signs shall follow it shall be undeniable that the heavens will be lift up with my signs and my wonders lit up sorry even what you did not expect shall be shown to you and what your eyes have not yet seen you shall see and you shall know that it is by my hand and mine alone for thus says the spirit of god you have entered a time of great trouble and yet there are also those whom i will shut up in the ark as i did with noah whom i shall protect for these I have taken to places of safety, and you shall remain to ease the suffering of many upon this earth. The Lord has already prepared places of safety through many of his servants. They are getting ready for the time of trouble. In order, the Lord says, to ease the suffering of many upon this earth. He says, those of you who have obeyed his voice and walked with him and done this, and prepared these places upon the earth he said you shall be the light shining in the darkness you shall be my hands and feet preparing the way for my return you shall continue to spread the gospel and save many before their blood is spilt many shall run to you seeking your wisdom and understanding of god i see as the lord was speaking to me here i saw a vision of white tents all over the globe these places have been pre prepared beforehand by the lord many of his servants as i said strategically placed in areas all across the earth to provide shelter spiritual and physical needs of the people for thus says the spirit of god hear me now there shall not be one nation not one that will not be touched by what is coming wars rumors of wars earthquakes pestilence famine <coughs> and disease shall devour the earth as powers and principalities go to war against man and yet many do not even know that they are in a war for the war rages in the spirit realm as well as the flesh but hear me O man for those who deny the existence of spiritual realms will no longer be able to deny it to deny it after this year for the things of the spirit which has been unseen by your eyes O man are about to be seen by all many hearts will tremble in fear for what they are about to see many will run but there will be nowhere to run for I alone am your rock of defense. I alone am your shelter. I alone will be your refuge. Take heed, O oh man, for the time of trouble is upon you. And that's the end of the word. Please go pray about it. Really take this word seriously. This is a very heavy word, I know. But nonetheless, I have to give it to you. I am going to add... All the scriptures that are relevant so please like i said join the telegram channel and then i also want to urge you the lord talks about so many things what's busy happening here in the powers and the principalities that he refers to is we are dealing with two principalities here one is abaddon which is the angel of destruction and i write about this in a book that i have written it is available for free on our website please go Look at our website down below, www.inspiredbyalohim.ca.za. All you have to do is register and you get access to this book for free. It's not going to cost you a thing. Yes, you have to read it online. You can't print it out, but at least you can read it. I urge all of you, go read it. Learn to know the enemy. You need to learn to know what to pray against what to stand against we don't even know what is going at work right now in this world we don't understand the powers and principalities behind it so i urge you please go and read the book 
We're dealing with Abaddon, the angel of destruction, and we're dealing with the principality of death. And if you want to stand guard, if you really do, if you want to stand guard of your, your nation, your city, your towns, even just your family, I urge you, go read this book so that you understand what the enemy does. All right. Blessings, everyone. Shalom.